Hey friends, Leslie from A Friend to Knit With. Welcome to episode 27 of A Friend to Knit With podcast. If you've stumbled upon this channel, it is a channel mostly about knitting. So if you are a knitter and are as passionate about knitting as we all are, then welcome. And if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. It means a lot. I can be found on Instagram as Leslie Friend. I am friend to friend on Ravelry and my blog name is a friend to knit with. I don't have that much to show you as far as finished objects. I really wanted to pop on here because I told you I would. I told you that I would let you know when the butterfly blanket was out the, and we I named it the best friend butterfly blanket. It's a baby blanket and I've talked about it in the last couple podcasts but it has been out for a couple weeks. I made a tutorial on how to do the butterfly stitch and I'll link that below, but it was my, my last video I uploaded. Um, but everything I talk about here will be in the show notes below. Uh, so this is it. It's just a square little blanket and it has this really fun butterfly stitched. Um, when you're making it, it goes this way. It doesn't matter which way, but when you're making it, it goes like that. Um, and I told you I would give it to you for the next week. So let's use the code best friend. I used that in the tutorial promo code, but we can still use that. And, uh, you can get this pattern. So go ahead and download it if you're interested, but it is just a great little pattern. It takes two skeins of my favorite acrylic yarn, which is, uh, the big twist value. It was on sale, I think for like $2.40 a skein. It takes two balls. I mean, it's just such a great value for your knitting. And this yarn just wears like you cannot believe. It's like one of those workhorse yarns. And for a baby blanket, I really love it. My cute little niece is making a dog blanket for her little dog that she babysits. Uh, that she is in love with and how cute is that and then um, one of my other readers said it would be a great little lap blanket which I totally agree and I would have it on my lap right now but it is mm, it's a glorious day and I have the window open but in the door absolutely spectacular but it's warm in here I wanted to open where I film, I didn't want to have to turn on the air conditioning. So I just opened the window, but I am getting pretty warm. But um, did I mention it's June 30th? I love June. I love July. I love August. When I'm in the middle of winter, I think I love winter. And I think I do. I mean, I know I do when I'm in those months. But mm -hmm. summer is just so good. So good. So anyhow, it is a little warm in here, so I'm not going to drape that over my legs. But go ahead and download that if you're at all interested. It was my grandmother's pattern, and she used to make it striped. And I have seen some people striping theirs, and it is darling, so you can still stripe it if you want it. She had an adult version. It would be very easy to adapt to an adult size if you're interested. And... Um, you know, I, I will probably write that up for everyone one day because it is, um, it's a great blanket and it's a great project and it just kind of goes like that. So the best friend butterfly blanket, um, on Ravelry. So I finished, I'm still, I'm working on one. I have my halfway through that and I finished only a couple of other things. I made my sister, you've heard me talk about these, but I, it just bears repeating because I love it so much. Uh, it's the Pop Life Cardigan from Wool and the Gang. And I just can't say enough about the quick knit it is and the finished sweater. I wear it five out of seven days in the summer. At some point in the day, it's on my body. So I made my sister one, 
Maybe I'll pop a picture in here of her wearing it. She was so cute. We went to surprise her for her birthday and, you know, I figured, I just thought, what, what does she need or want? And, you know, we all probably have everything that somebody would buy for you. So I knew she would really love one of these sweaters. She at one point talked about making herself one and then she's a big, she likes to knit, but she's a big needle pointer. So she probably wasn't gonna make one anytime soon because she loves to needle point. So I made hers out of the indigo denim. Uh, it's 100% upcycled yarn. And this is the dirty denim. And I must say, I love the indigo denim. I mean, I love all of mine, but I like how deep this shade is. And she loves it. So now I just have one more to make for my sister, Lisa. She's the only one in our family that doesn't have one. My daughter has one. Um, my niece has one. My one sister has one. My sister, Lisa, is feeling left out. So I need to make her one. <laughs> so I will at one point. So I did finish that. Like I said, don't have it here though. Um, and then I made a couple accessories. I made a pair of toast mitts out of a hedgehog fiber. And if you know me, you know that this is not in my color palette, but I'm so drawn to bright colors, but I just don't like to wear bright colors. I have a lot of pink tones in my skin and I just don't like the way it looks on my skin probably. Um, but these are great. I've already worn them a few times and I think they're great in the spring, summer. Um, the pattern is Toast Mitts and they just take that little chill off whenever you are chilly. I'm not sure this color. I was told to put my phone in airplane mode and I did the last couple of podcasts, but I did just get a phone call. Uh, so that was for the toast mitts, and I also finished on the C-Train hat. I was very late to the party with this hat. This is on the C-Train, and it is a free pattern from when Lisa and Melissa owned us Foster Co. and put out their free patterns, and it's over on Ravelry. You can download it. It took um, two skeins, actually, of Loft. The pattern calls for wolf oak far. I'm sorry, wolf oak. And I only had um, left. So I used that, but I did get into the second skein. But if you're going to use wolf oak, it takes one skein. And then also she held it with the Surrey cloud, which made it, you can't really tell in this picture, but it's really dreamy. But I didn't mind mine either out of the left. I think left is just a little heavier than the far, but it's a great hat. I'm going to get really hot right now, but that's, that's the price we have to pay to show our knits. Uh, it's so cute, right? My kids all want one. And so I'm sure there'll be more of these in my future. It's just a one by one rib. And if you have any hat, I mean, any yarn. I think it's a size eight needle. Seven and eight. Yeah, seven and eight. So it goes pretty quickly. Uh, and it's a great little travel project. Those are the only things I have off of my needles. I did want to tell you that June 21st was the kickoff to the Summer Stripes Knit Along that Gina from Skein Cocaine and I are hosting. And you can pop on any time between now and September 21st. We are gonna have fun prizes. I think we're gonna do them monthly. So, you know, July 21st and August 21st, we're gonna give some to people that have already posted their things. We're still trying to work on the uh, Ravelry group, but for now, if you could just take a picture and post it on Instagram, with the hashtag summer, summer of stripes cow. And that way we can all see it. And Gina and I can see it. So last year, I, last February, I think. So over a year ago, I made the Suvi, the simple stripes sweater by Suvi Knits. And I love this. This was Gina's 
yarn in the perfect palette. And it just, it was perfect for this pattern. Um, and I decided to use my pastel palette from Skein Cocaine for the same sweater. So Gina is making it out of the pastel palette also, but starting with the pinks. So I'm gonna go blues, greens, yellows, pinks, and, and orange, I think is in there too. And she is going the other direction, probably ending with blue. I don't know if that's the order she's going in, but I kind of laid out her, what she had on her website and uh, I'm doing it in that same color palette or that same order. But I think she is mixing it up a bit. Uh, but like I said, I don't like pink near my face at all. And so, and it's really getting warm in here. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I'm getting redder and redder by the minute. Plus, I don't know, has, does anyone else use Retin-A? So we start a Retin-A, I don't know, in the spring sometime, and I'm just so sensitive. I can only use it once a week, sometimes once every other week. And then the nights that I, the day after I use it, I'm pretty red. But people say it helps smooth out those fine lines. So I'm going to try it. Um, but it really does, my skin doesn't really love it yet. I hear it's either like that. either, And there are, I think there's 6% of people that can never use it. So, so I do have the, um, sorry, I digress, the simple stripes on my needles. And I have one other thing on my needles. It is a daily pullover. If you've watched my videos before, then you know I love the daily pullover. It is a pattern by Pearl Soho made out of their linen quill. Mine is taking three balls of linen quill. So I also think it's pretty affordable. And I made a black one. This is Kettle Black, and I also made a Nutmeg one. Love them both so much. And my daughter Libby wanted one in Kettle Black. And my daughter Libby is a second grade, well, she was a second grade school teacher in Aurora, Colorado. And she has enrolled in a program where she can teach English in Spain. So she was assigned to Madrid, and so she'll go to Madrid in September. It's a 10 month commitment with an opportunity to stay longer, to do another year or two. So I'm so excited for her. And of course, I'll be taking her. If anyone lives in Madrid and wants to knit in September, let me know. Uh, and yeah, so she wants this. So I just have to have this finished by September, which I'm sure I will. Um, and this is done top down and in the round, top down till you join at the V in the round. And yeah, it's a great knit. I have, like I said, this is my third and I want to make myself another one after that. It's just like I've said here before, so wearable, but it is, it's just one of those that I can wear a lot. I mean, this is so cute, but I don't wear this a lot like I can those. Because then everyone just sees you coming and going. Leslie's in her striped sweater again. <laughs> so as fun as they are to make, I think something like that is just more wearable. So anyhow, I will have that done by September. And yes, I'm so happy to take her over to Madrid and travel around Spain and do some other things. So I'm sure it won't be the first time I visit her because yeah, I'll have to go back for sure. Uh, so those are the only things I have on my needles. I have something that I want on my needles desperately, but I'm making myself finish one of these two projects first. But last year, Pearl Soho had uh, their cotton on sale. It's the buttercream cotton, I think. Butter, buttercup, buttercup cotton. And that's it. Black, so exciting. Um, but I bought three skeins of this. The yardage is outrageously good, like 385 yards. And I was searching for something to make. I was going to make a Thea tank, but I had two failed attempts at that. So 
that was snow. And then someone showed me the Vegas tank, which is so cute. And I still want to make that. But then Sea of String. And of course, I don't know her name right now. But on Instagram, she's Sea of String. And, you know, I just always remember their Instagram handle. Not their actual name. I can't think of it. Anyhow, but she had on the cutest sweater, the never ending story sweater. And I knew immediately that's what I wanted to make. It's the exact needle size that I need. And it's just so wearable, 100% black cotton sweater. Uh, there it is in cream. You can see it a little bit better, but um, yeah, very excited about this, but I must finish something first. It's done in a half fisherman rib, which I'm excited to do. And it also just starts at the top. I think you know, it, the construction is really interesting. I think you do half of the back and continue up over the shoulder to the underarm in the front and then join it all to work in the round. That's what I think I read when I was um, going over the pattern. But that that's the thing that will be next on my needles. It's right here in my queue, the Coco Knits bag ready to go. And uh, yeah, I've got to get knitting on these other two. So I think that's all I have to tell you, friends. I hope that, you know, wherever you are in the world, I hope that your hearts are finding some peace in such a difficult time, especially for the United States that we're going through. And, you know, at least we have our knitting is all I can say, right? I mean, it's the thing that brings the joy and peace to our days and has definitely got me through a lot. So, you know, if you're watching this, I know that you know the feeling and that's why you have this huge passion as well. So I hope you had a wonderful June. And if you're making stripes, make sure to post your pics. And if you're not, I hope you're working on something you absolutely adore. And like I always say, Find something else if it's not bringing you joy because there's so many amazing projects and things to make. And remember to download your best friend butterfly blanket. And yeah, remember, you always have a friend to knit with. Until the next time, take care.